Hey guys, Stealth here. Welcome back to the German 1940s campaign. It's episode 9. We're going to start off in the English Channel. In May 1940, as the Kaiser Wilhelm der Grosse, one of my battleships, encounters the Triton. Or sorry, the uh, French battlecruiser Triton. The French only have two of these. So losing one of them, I suspect, will be a serious blow to morale. They are escorted, the Triton, by the heavy cruiser Thionville, the light cruiser Enterprise on loan from the British, the light cruiser Jean de Vienne, and the destroyer Arab. Now, the French, much like the English, like their torpedo launchers a lot. <clears throat> they got 2x5s and 4x4s. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Um, the light cruiser also has 4x5 and the destroyer has 2x5 and 2x3. Minimum bulkheads, standard bulkheads, standard bulkheads, standard bulkheads, and the Triton, the battle cruiser. 94 million worth of ship, 29,000 tons. It's on the small side for battle cruiser. It carries 14-inch um, guns, only six of them. Not necessarily too big of a threat. Let's do it. We're going to take these guys down. I think this is the first time I've actually dealt with a French ship, but I'm not 100%. Start. Where is he? All the way over there. 35, 33 kilometers out. I normally would outrange a battle cruiser. Normally. But in this case, I'm not so sure. Because whereas normally I would avoid. Oh, sorry, I would <coughs> outrange a battle cruiser. Um, this time around, <coughs> excuse me, I have a ship that fires light shells, which means it's not as likely. You are screening, correct? Yeah, you are. Okay, slow down. Let them come to you. I've got a green level of crew, so your accuracy suffering less of a debuff than usual. Here comes the battle cruiser. Yeah, that's them. Interesting look. I wouldn't want to be on the second tower. You're going to get properly smoked out there. That look that can't be good for your range finding equipment either, can it? Also, <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what is that? Is it three inch or something? Yeah. <laughs> it's a three or four inch. Oh, I love this. Yeah. No, we're going to have an A turret, a B turret, and then a barbette with a three inch. Yeah. Because who knows? Airstrikes. I don't know. Range 27 clicks. Back to the battle. Game face is on now on my German crew. We have spotted some more of their ships. They have spotted the V9. That is impressive. These destroyers are supposed to be small and hard to see. Not that anyone cares. There we go. Opening up. We also have... Who are you? You're the French. Definitely the French. It's the French heavy cruiser. Torpedoes there and there. It means they're gonna... Ha oh, and here. <laughs> Yikes. 23 clicks. Do I go for damage that I can dodge, or do I go for damage that I cannot dodge? And for a bigger target. Bigger target. We're gonna finish off the battle cruiser, or at least hit the battle cruiser a couple times. Wow, why is your bow so low? What's the sea state? Calm waves? <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at this. That's not calm waves. No, 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 no. Not calm waves at all. Chance to hit's going up. I like this. I do not like firing high explosive. I like firing armor piercing at this battle cruiser. I suspect it might not have too much armor. 20 clicks out. 20, 24, yeah. They're not launching torpedoes at me yet. They can't. Even with the British and their insane ability to fling a lot of torpedoes, they don't have that kind of range. Yes! Overpen! First 
start of the damage. Right on the bow as well. They're lucky that didn't hit their turret. Uh, yeah. We're trying to hit this, correct? So what the ocean behind you do? I'm keeping my destroyers not so much as an attacking force, but as a screening force to make sure that I get early warning on torpedoes. Are you engaging my destroyers now? Smoke up, gentlemen. Smoke up. Just do a bit of a shootout. What are you hitting? You, you switched fire to a smoked up light cruiser? Why? That makes no sense. Let's take out the heavy cruiser, or at least get a couple of shots in on them. Force them to slow down. Ideally. Can this damage me at all? I suspect that it can. Yeah, it can. 20% <coughs> chance. 4% chance to hit, and there it is! One hit. Pen. And flooding. And flooding quickly at that. That's half the ship flooded. Oof. Let's do that again. And eliminate one French cruiser. Thionville. Standard bulkheads? Really? Oh, their torpedo range is only 15 kilometers. Not necessarily better. They fire 22 inches, which are oh, they're easier to detect. Less range. We are in range ish but I kind of doubt that they're actually going to do that much against me right now I'm more concerned about a DD accidentally getting blown up is this expensive? 71 million not necessarily very expensive look at her go she's already down to 44% buoyancy she's maneuvering isn't she? Yes! Overpen. How much armor do you have? More than the light cruisers, that's for sure. There's the British loner, the Enterprise. Yeah, that's the torpedo cruiser, alright. And she has range. Kinda. Maintain distance. My crews are starting to get more accurate. I think that Thionville and Triton might be disengaging. Switch fire to the Enterprise and load the high explosive. If I can sink another British light cruiser with all those torpedoes, I'd be happy to. The Thionville is no longer a threat. She cannot launch her torpedoes. She can fire her guns. But add a destroyer with half a percent chance to hit. Meh. Not terribly impressed. Come on. Couple of two and a half. Sorry, not two and a half. Fifteen inch shells. No, smoking up. Okay. There's the Triton. 30 knots. So we're about even in speed. What? <laughs> they already ran out of HE ammo. Not that you need it. 70% chance to hit. Sorry, pen. It's really nice. Ah, oh, that's the Jean de Vienne. 21-7. This guy's a threat. Sneaky torps. Great. Okay, Thionville is not lo no longer a ship that we'll see again. Just keep slugging it out with the Triton. Because that's a nice and expensive target. Also cramped quarters, so... If I start to take some, uh, if they start to take some hits, they are going to notice that their crew starts dying pretty quick. And when it does, their damage control is going to progressively get worse and worse and worse, and it snowballs. 
That's why on my ships I always have standard bulkheads or standard quarters, unless I build a ship specifically for brawling. But considering the type of ships that these French and Brits are using, brawling is absolutely out of the question. Because you cannot brawl against a torpedo launching ship. It just doesn't happen. Come on. I think... Hitchens 1.5, Hitchens 1, 7, 1, 8. Hold on, you just launched torpedoes at me. How rude. Enterprise. So we're going to do the unexpected and push into the light cruisers. The DDs are going to be temporarily distracted and wondering what the hell I'm doing now. Jean de Vienne is also launching torpedoes. So we're going to maintain a turn back to the southwest. And just slug it out with these guys. They will potentially return fire with six inch guns. Eventually. Their chances of dealing damage are exceptionally low. Um, do I give these guys permission to panic? Because that's what the avoid torpedo button essentially does. Permission to panic. There. That's the way from the Enterprise. There's the way from the Jean de Vienne. Nice try. Now quit your bullshit. <clears throat> Thank you. It's a good hit. But they're smoked up. Armor piercing. Engage the Triton. 8% chance to hit. 72% chance to pen. Essentially everything but their turrets is fair game. And their turrets are armed by 18 inches of armor. <laughs> yeah. No wonder I can't pen that. Oh, that's one shell's looking decent. Yes, pen. Thank you. Uh, yeah, why, why not? Torp if you can. I should target. I don't know where the destroyer is at. But I'm still picking up something to the south. Could be the heavy cruiser. I'm not sure. Now, a couple of hits on the heavy on the the battle cruiser and it'll flood. Once it does, sitting duck and we take it out. It's got plenty of ammo left, so that's definitely not a factor. Torpedoes at the 10 clicks, which currently is way way out of the question. I am expecting that before we sink the Triton, they will launch another salvo. So be it. Dude, what are you doing? You're just making yourself look bad. That's more like it. <clears throat> Parcel pen. That was unlucky because it could have been definitely a full pen. <laughs> do better, Kaiser. Do better. And let me take a picture as you're doing your work better. Thank you. Right. Yeah, that one shell's gonna hit. There you go. There you go. Pen, fire. It's more like it. These two guys are almost reloaded. That's another hit. Ricochet. That's out of torpedo range. Triton should be slowing down a bit. 29 knots out of the potential 30.7. Let's show the French what's what. Secondaries are also opening up. The 6 inchers are using AP. Don't you think that's a bit optimistic? I, for one, don't believe that we can pen that. This is 12 kilometers out. 
That's 4.6 inches of armor pen at best. That's optimistic. But rather misguided. It's, <laughs> it's just not going to work. Hold on. Oh, I thought they were turning in. No, they're not. Oh, here we go again. Hard to starboard. Enterprise just launched the set. Where are you going? They are turning. To port. Why? What's the deal? This makes no sense. Running away with a battlecruiser against something that you cannot outshoot should always be your first priority. Not this. Oh, you just launched against me as well. Fun. Okay, turn a bit more. I'll deal with you in a minute. I mean, we'll get it done. It's just going to take a little longer. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, we're going to have to do some divine intervention here. Otherwise, these DDs are screwed. There we go. There's more where that came from. Yeah, there it is. Those guys were not done launching torpedoes at me yet. Where's the rest? I'm looking for a third wave. Oh, you're flooding! Good man. Very nice. Aft deck pen, yes. Rudders out, more flooding. Standard bulkheads, 14% crew lost. There goes your damage control. Okay, I think crisis is averted. I say that, and of course at that exact moment, these guys start taking all sorts of hits. It's annoying. Uh, steady, no, 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 screen. The battleship. There. Here's the torpedo. S torpedoes. Plural. V3. What are you doing? Go over there. Oh. One more. You're out of torpedoes. Enterprise is not. Enterprise still has a bunch more. Turn <clears throat> and increase the flank. Triton is not going to be running away from us anymore. I know it's going to hurt my accuracy. That's fine. I just want to get there faster. You guys okay? Yeah. Good. Good, good. Join this. Triton is down to 49% structural <clears throat> and flooding is getting worse. I'm going to turn back to port. <coughs> oh, hello. There we go again. Yes, full pen. What's that ship looking? Not great. Well, really big holes in her. Rudder is malfunctioning. On paper. And her turrets <coughs> are running a little low on AP shells. But they're firing at something pretty big. Yeah, like my battleship, so they're still going. Oh shit, hold. You're not supposed to be in that diff there, uh, Kaiser. You are all supposed to screen for the Kaiser. You doing it? No. Uh, screen for this boy. There. You're out of torpedoes. Eliminate the battlecruiser. That's the biggest power projector. I really do not want to get blockaded by the British or the French. And I think that they're going to add up their naval power and attempt to blockade. I have quite a few ships coming off of the draw... the Well, not the dry docks. Coming off of the shipyards. 
So I should be capable of not getting blockaded or sending out a whole bunch of destroyers against stuff like this. But destroyers don't project a lot of power. And before my cruisers come off, well, I think you've seen that. It's going to take a little longer. Shit, we're almost out of AP. Switch to HE for a second. Let's see if we can start some fires on this guy or at least eliminate more crew. 16.8% losses. Missed. Fully. Range? 13. Sixteen point nine percent crew lost. Bad day to be a sailor aboard the Triton. Really bad. <laughs> Could I have the DDs gun them down? Are we doing that? That'd be hilarious. It's just that I cannot really detach the destroyers from the battleship. Because I'm too concerned that they will torpedo me again. That's just getting blocked. I mean, the Jean de Vienne is not a threat, but the other guy is. Yeah, see, that's more like it. That's going to do the Triton very nicely. 40% structural remains. Parcel pen, 40% remains. And the DDs are opening up. <laughs> Against the Triton. Um... I think it's almost too good of an opportunity not to torpedo the battle cruiser. Sonar 2, though. Enterprise is going to launch her turps at my destroyer? Really? Yes. Most likely the V3, then. Okay. Break off. There go the torps. From 9 and 3. Very good. <coughs> yeah, we'll uh, do a fair amount of damage to these guys. Oh! That's not great. Yeah, flooding. They're turning direction. That's not helpful. Which means the torps going to miss. Also means this thing is completely dead. It has nowhere to go. It's flooding. Engines are out. Look at the list. This guy. He's done for. Just chilling, I guess, looking at the sky. It's the last thing they'll see as well. If that battlecruiser is done for. Next target. Light cruisers. Destroyer group, push. You, select HE for ammo. Because now that the battle cruiser and all of their 4 inch guns are dead, I can engage. Oh! Bad news for the Enterprise. I can engage and push in. Uh, they have no ammo for their AP. Sorry, for their HE. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, sorry. That was my torpedo still hitting the Triton. Sorry, I thought my ships were getting hit. They're not. Oh, but they're trying. They are still trying. Hard to port. Smoke it up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 1,394 damage. I think the Enterprise is done for. That much flooding? Ship is dead in the water. Lost 21% of her crew. Buoyancy holding at 15%. How? Just how do you keep that thing alive? That's pretty impressive. Torpedoes have been detected here and here. And that's about all of them. Yeah, so you cannot do anything. Nope. Kaiser's perfectly fine. 
Come on. What sort of shells do you fire there, uh, Jean? Capped ballistic HE shells and capped ballistic AP shells. So that's going to completely overpen a destroyer. Fly it one side in, outside the other. No, actually. What? 12 kilometers out. They can't pen me. Wow. Unexpected. Could we please hit the Enterprise one more time? Okay, twice. Twice is good. Twice is better. Ship down. Jean de Vienne? No. I'll treat that as an opening salvo. So, Jean. How'd you like your HE? Deliver it in the form of a nice, swift 15-inch package? Or would you prefer it out of the barrel of a 5-inch? I mean, we have options. We like to accommodate all ships. What's your turn? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's the fucking Enterprise, I'm telling you. That's the Enterprise is doing. Turn. The last thing they did before they died. Torpedo the V9. Yep. It'd be like that, huh? It'd be like that. Okay. Well, that was amusing, <clears throat> but it didn't hit anything. 14 clicks. Uh, sail that way. <clears throat> and... 9 kilometers out. What's our chance to pen? 30%? Wow. That's actually pretty impressive. Sonar was sonar 2. Turning circle was good, yeah. Nevertheless. I mean, I don't have anything better to torp. Right? There's nothing else out here. Yeah, a heavy cruiser is somewhere dozens and dozens and dozens of kilometers away. Torpedoes away from the nine. The two is still waiting. Could you please hit once? This thing has just a little too much armor, doesn't it? Yeah. But our AP can very quickly chew through that. Give me the AP shells. Because AP at this range, 7.5, can pen 7.3 inches of armor. That's essentially everywhere. Except the conning tower, perhaps. <clears throat> so, yes. Open up. So, our torpedoes in the water are yeah, here. There you are. From a DD? 108 damage. That's impressive. I still believe that the, the values that you can see here from damage AP and damage HE are a bit bugged. This is supposedly, if I'm understanding it correctly, and I might not, the top amount of damage that you can expect. Yet, what we're actually seeing is that this DD is doing 75 damage with an AP shell that's supposed to do 23. I don't understand. Oh, you're responding to the torpedoes or something? No, you're responding to my AP shells. <laughs> and here I am thinking I need battle cruisers to take down light cruisers. No! You just need freaking gunboats. Just something armed with really high-end AP shells. And they'll punch all the holes in that cruiser that you need. Although a 15-inch shell like that really helps. Okay, end battle. That is 3,951 victory points for me. Eight for them. We've lost 57 sailors. They've lost almost 50... Yeah, just shy of 60 times that. Victory. Some damage to my ships, but nothing too serious. So what's coming up next then? 
Well, the Bismarck's back. The Bismarck, the Admiral Hipper, and 3DDs against Battlecruiser Monarch, Heavy Cruiser Bedford, Royal Arthur, Light Cruiser Prometheus, and Destroyer Fortune. But not today. That'll be in the next episode. Overall, I'd say that the war is going well. We have 35,000 victory points versus 15,000 for them. Um, I do feel like I'm just winning these battles somewhat easier now. And I am very much looking forward to getting a lot more ships. Because then I can start to really, hopefully, harass their shipping lines. Uh, maybe push back against the British. Ideally, damage ports. That'd be even better. But before that happens, well, we'll still be a long way off. Because there are a lot of ships. Especially French. I mean, they got 81 ships. The British have 42. It will be here a while. In the meanwhile, what's my ally doing? Wow, you filled one heavy cruiser? Sheesh. Where are your battleships? They're not docked? Oh, here. Huh. Nice. They're moving to the Western Mediterranean. They're going here. Wait. They have five battleships. Okay, they got three there, two there. Sorry, they have six battleships. We're looking at the towns. They have six battleships. Right. So, my, my uh, ally is potentially also doing quite well. Anyway, more on this next time. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you like what you're seeing, please hit like, subscribe to me, and if you want to, and I'd be very grateful, support me on Patreon. Link down below in the description. For now, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon for the next one.